morning, Dr. Rashid, uh, honorable guests, speakers. Let me thank Dr. Rashid for organizing, first of all, inviting me as a speaker and also organizing such a high profile event. And that too, uh, it's free of charge. You know, it's, it's a great uh, contribution to the society what Dr. Rashid is doing and that too, not one time, many times in an year and continuously for the last many years. Let's give him a big round of applause for this. As he says that knowledge, uh, unless it is transferred, it is not translated as knowledge. So this is, this is what Dr. Rashid is doing. So you must have heard a lot about project management from the experts in project management. When you, when you talk about project management, you first think of uh, a construction project management. But I come from a totally different industry. I come from manufacturing industry. But we apply project management uh, principles in every areas where uh, we involve, like right from conceiving an idea, product development, manufacturing, marketing, launching a product, every activity is considered as a project for us. It's basically a very methodical approach for planning, guiding, process from conception to completion. It allows the company to systematically approach an upcoming project, leverage the potential of the workforce, minimizing errors. When you say leveraging the potential, complete potential of the workforce, uh, this is what uh, a lot of speakers must, uh, have been talking about. Uh, the team of people come from different cultural background, different educational background, uh, different uh, knowledge backgrounds, coordinating, uh, you know, motivating and continuously motivating them to implement a project. It is a leadership, it is a leadership skill. It boils down to the leadership where you need to motivate a group of people. It's not a, it, it, it necessarily not a team of people whom you always have been working with. It might be a team of people who has been completely uh, new and completely unknown to you. So you might, sometimes you end up with people who, whom you don't even know the cultural background, who don't even know the skill sets. So managing a team of people to implement a project and conclude a project, it is a, it's a leadership, it's a really leadership skill. I would say it is, we'll, uh, we split the project into three, the scope, the time, and the cost. It's the three major elements what we look at when we talk about a project. The scope of the project we evaluate when we look at the project what is the scope of the project and the, what is the timeline for the project from conception to conclusion or completion and what is the overall cost. Every cost has got a, uh, an implication. I mean, whether you are going to have an ROI for that cost and whether it is worth investing that cost. This is the study what we do in manufacturing. The constraints, uh, the constraints are if any of this, uh, the, if any, any of these three constraints have got a problem, if the cost has got an implication, the project doesn't work. If the, if the project completion time is not able to complete on time, uh, the project fails. It's a failed project. So when we talk about man, uh, managing or launching a product, we look at the product life cycle, we look at the market, we look at the product competitive products in the market, we look at the standards, and if we are able to launch the product in a specific time 
uh, we are able to achieve a success. But if we don't achieve, if we don't launch the product on, on, the, on the specified time, uh, you have different implications. The product may go obsolete, the standards may vary, the markets changes, the technology changes. So the cost, the viability of the project becomes difficult. So we start from, uh, if we start the project, conceptualization, planning, execution, monitor and controlling and termination. In each areas, it, in the process, in each process, you need the ability, actual ability to blueprint involves dealing with uh, different people, different tools, different materials, different raw materials, and comparing the project objectives, de determining the level of accuracy, and start to help, start to finish, and uh, each stage of the project, you are able to evaluate uh, the progress and whether it is able, to, uh, whether you are able to evaluate whether it is on track. And upon completion, you are able to release the resources of this project, of the allotted resources to another project. So this is the success what you achieve by completing the project on time.